Hi, I'm Gulrat Singh Shahpuri. I'm a leadership trainer and coach, and I help companies train and empower leaders. And welcome to this talk on the four C's of charisma. Now, today we're going to talk about the third C of charisma, which is called contribute. Guys, anytime you're invited anywhere, you must contribute. Simple as that. Anytime you're going anywhere, you must contribute. Whether you're going to somebody's office, whether you're going to a party, you have to contribute. You're not going to be a silent person because, you know, they say that it's not the nice guys who finish last, it's the boring people who finish last. If you don't contribute, you don't want to be categorized as boring. Secondly, you're not using that as an opportunity to expand out of your own comfort zone. You're not growing your own personality. So use this as a ground for you to actually work upon yourself. Now, whenever you want to contribute, think of ways that you can because it's easier than you think. You know what I do? Anytime I have to go out somewhere, whether it's a social function or something where I feel it's important, I like to catch up on all the social events. I like to catch up on all the current events. So I'll go read all the newspapers I can. I read up to six newspapers. Now, I don't spend a lot of time on them. I'll spend maybe two, three minutes on each, but I'll go through all of them. I'll flip through all the headlines. And now I know everything. And you know, it's important that you have a general knowledge about what's going on. Whether you think reading newspapers is a good idea or seeing news is a good idea or whether you feel it's just all bad stuff that's going to pollute your mind, guys, it's important that you are well informed. And here's the trick. Having inch deep knowledge about a whole lot of things, it's way better than having deep knowledge about just a couple of things. Because when you have inch deep knowledge about everything, you can latch on to a conversation that's going on about something else. And you can give your two bits about something that's sort of related to it. And everybody thinks, wow, he knows that, or she knows something about everything. That's your trick because you don't have to know. And I'm, I'm actually tired of people because I used to be one of them who says things like, well, you know, I just don't know what to say. Well, you just don't know what to say because you don't have enough to say. And when you have enough to say, and which is basically a combination of knowledge and practice, practice is important, so that's why you have to use every opportunity to do these things. But when you do it this way, guys, you're always going to be a really interesting person. Now, a way I learned how to contribute, when we were young, my father had this thing that whenever we had to talk, whenever we had to sit on the dinner table, he'd always say, well, what went on today, guys? What happened today, guys? And that was pretty good. Now, I took it up another notch. Now, in my family, we have dinner together. And whenever we're sitting at the dinner table, everybody must contribute. So nobody's allowed to give one word answers. Everybody has to bring the current events or something important that happened at school or somewhere that day. And this becomes a practice ground for everybody to contribute. So now when you have to do this in real life, you're pretty good at it because you've been a grand champion because you've been doing this all your life. People have to understand that you just can't be mediocre guys anymore. Life is a little complicated nowadays. You have to be extraordinary. And when you always have something to say or do, then it makes you extraordinary. I have a hard time telling jokes. I, I can never remember them. I can remember the joke sort of, but never the punchline. And now guys, I know there's no excuses to these things. So next time you're at a party or you're at some place where you have a joke to say and you just can't remember it, guys, there's nobody to blame than yourself. Because nowadays, we're in the digital age of smartphones. Everybody has a phone nowadays as a smartphone, and everybody has that note section in their phone. I have all sorts of jokes in my note section. And whenever I need to remember a joke, I'll just excuse myself for a quick second. I'll go over to some place and I'll pretend I'm making a phone call. I'll just quickly read a couple of jokes and I'll come back and voila, I have the best jokes to tell and nobody knows that I used a cheat sheet. I can't remember everything and I'm one of those people that can't remember anything. So it really helps me out when I do it like this. Now, if you're sitting around a bonfire at some campground and, and everybody's singing songs and it's your turn to start off a song, and if you say, well, I don't know any songs, guys, you have that smartphone, you have crowd pleasers that you can note in your phone. I have, I have that in my phone. I have a section which it says, uh, it says song lyrics and I have on top, I have crowd pleasers, songs that everybody likes in, in most occasions. And I know a couple of lines of those songs and I'll start singing them and everybody joins in and all of a sudden everybody remembers that I started the song. Nobody realizes that's the only parts I knew about the song. And these are little tricks I've been using for the last little time because nobody has to figure out that, you know what, your charisma is learned, that you're using these tips, trips and tricks because they become you. And eventually, 
people can't tell the difference between what you're pretending to be and what you've actually become because you can't even tell the difference. So these are some ways that I find contribution extremely important. And the next time, guys, you go to a party or a function or, or somebody's office, you must contribute. Find ways you can contribute, whether it's preparing ahead of time by reading newspapers or whether it's getting things on your phone like I do and to be always prepared. But if you walk out of there on, without contributing, guys, realize, like I said, nice people don't finish last, boring people do. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you guys about the third C of charisma, which is contribution. Use these tricks, borrow them from me, I borrowed them from somewhere else as well. And you're going to see it really starts to change things for you because you do in fact become a tremendously charismatic person. Now watch out for the fourth C, but before you do, if you're watching this on Facebook or LinkedIn, do like and share it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, do subscribe to the channel. <music>